orders can be placed using two methods on Kite. For method one, you just hover your mouse over any script on the market watch to activate the buy or sell button and click it to open up the order form. You can use escape to close the order form. Method two is for people like me who love using shortcut keys for pretty much everything. You can scroll through the market watch using the up and down arrow and then hit B or S after arriving at the script of your choice. On the order form, you have the action you're performing followed by the script name, the exchange name, the quantity and the price. Just below that you have the LTP which is live. On the right here you have a toggle switch to switch between buy and sell on the order form itself. Down here you have the product types. This is an equity order form. CNC is for 100% cash transactions for delivery trades. MIS is for leveraged intraday trades on EQ. To know the kind of leverage we provide, visit zerodha.com forward slash margin calculator. The margin calculator page has details of margins provided for each script on every exchange and the square of timings. We even have a unique span margin calculator which gives you information on hedged positions. You should bookmark this page right now and read up more about it on our blog ZConnect. Let's look at the F&O order form. What's changed on this order form is CNC has been replaced by normal and the margin information is on the margin calculator page. There are four different order types. You should use market orders when you want to buy the script irrespective of the price. You should use limit order types when you know exactly how much you're willing to pay for a certain script. SL and SLM orders can be used for stopping losses and for entering new positions above or below a certain price. The differentiator in SL orders is the trigger price. You can read more about stop loss orders on our blog on ZConnect. Let's place a couple of orders to check out how it works. So I just scroll through the market watch and I hit B and I hit enter. You can see my order has been placed. If my order was open, I would see a number here, but this order has just been executed. Let's look at how open orders appear. I'm placing one more order and I'm going to buy it at a price which is lower. And I click buy or I hit enter and the order shows up in the order book. Now, pending orders can be edited or cancelled. I can change the price by clicking edit and opening up the order form again and modifying it or I can just cancel the order and my executed orders show up at the bottom. Let's look at placing a couple more orders. Let's buy one more share and I'm going to change this to market and if you want I can make it CNC. So and I click buy. You can see the this completion sound. You heard the tuck sound and you can see that the order is showing in my completed order list. And the cool thing about the order form on Kite is that it remembers what your previous choice was and it saves it so you can use it the next time quickly. So I hit again buy and it's there. So now I want to change it to intraday. So I have to click it once and I hit buy and my order is executed. And if I do it the next time, it's that fast. And my open orders are visible here. I can cancel them and my completed orders are right at the bottom and every order you can see information if you click the right arrow there and check out more details like what's the price what's the time order number timestamps of the exchange zero the timestamp everything is visible here lower down you can see the trade book also and you have a search functionality here so i can use any keyword to just search through my order book like I want to see my futures positions. So just type FUT and hit enter. This shows you all your futures orders.